Well, when I say that we appear to be animals, I mean that uh, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see an animal, a biological organism, and it seems that you see yourself, and you don't seem to be, I don't seem to myself to be something, anything larger or smaller than the animal, and I don't seem to be some sort of immaterial thing in some sort of two-way communication with the animal. Uh, now, you might say, is the appearance simply that my body is an animal? Whether that's correct depends on what it means to say that my body is an animal. Uh, uh, what the phrase, my body, or Olson's body, or John's body, actually means. Uh, uh, and maybe it means something like this, my body is a certain material object uh, which I can move in a certain way. I can move the parts of my body just by intending to move. Uh, it's also the object that gives me sensory information uh, about the state of this animal and, the, and, and my surroundings. Uh, if that's what my body is, then I suppose my body is an animal. And it does appear that my body, that, that, uh, yes, it does appear that my body is an animal. But of course, that's entirely compatible with the appearance that I am an animal. In fact, if my body is a certain object that I can move and feel in a special way, uh, then the appearance, the appearance is that I am my body. Uh, so saying that what appears is that my body is an animal is entirely compatible with and in no way undermines the view that it appears that I am an animal. 